Hey, I just want to thank you for being a part of the conversation. This is Play It Forward. Real people, real stories. Episode number 566 is with actor Scott Adkins from John Wick 4. I'm good, Arrow. How are you? Nice to talk to you again. Absolutely, dude. You you know that you've now earned the honor of being a Pacino. And and what I mean by being an Al Pacino is the fact that this 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 character that you're playing in in John Wick 4, this is taking you to a whole new level, buddy, and I am so proud of you. Oh, thanks a lot. But if, if I was as good as uh, Pacino or De Niro, I would have actually got that fat. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what was it like to be in that? Because you had to have looked at yourself in the mirror to, to, to evolve into that character and accept it. Well, this was the thing. I was doing another movie at the time and I had to go and get my body and head scanned so that they could start creating the prosthetics. And um, I knew I was playing the part and I had the script. So I started working on the voice and trying to find a way into the character through the voice. But I hadn't seen a mock-up or an image of what the character would eventually look like. So I had a lot of questions. I got back to England, had my first prosthetics test and got a little bit more of an inkling on, on who he was. It wasn't until I got to Berlin and tried the whole suit on with the prosthetics and was in the trailer, I looked at myself in the mirror and realized that the character was there and that this was actually going to work. But up until that point, it was a bit of a leap of faith. You have some fight scenes with John Wick. And, and I, you know, and, and being the, a big fan of you, I thought, oh, here we go, man. We're going to see some cool martial arts in, in, in this suit. No, no, it, 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 you, you fought like a regular person. And, and it's, it's like, it, was it difficult to do that? Because at any given time, you could have drop kicked him. Well... You know, John Wick, it's a graphic novel come to life. But if you think about the martial arts sequences, they're very realistic and down to earth. Karen is using judo, jujitsu. You know, there's nobody flying around on wires doing somersaults. That, that's a different movie. So it's important to stay true to the tone of the film. Now, I'm there playing this bigger character in this fat suit. It was very important that we don't betray the, the character and if I start jumping around doing high flying kicks, you're not going to believe that that guy actually does weigh that much. So we're keeping the martial arts true and, and basic, as they are from all the other characters as well. And that, that's the John Wick style. Mentally speaking, did you pick something up in this role? Because, I mean, I, I, I love the way that you're able to make that connection with a storyline that's been going on for, for other movies. But yet, I mean, you, you're, you're such a dominant figure. Well, I just had a great script to work from um, and a great director and actors to work with. And, you know, it was a pleasure to sit down at uh, the opposite end of that, that poker table and just uh, play the scene with uh, wonderful actors. They approached you in a way that said, hey, I've got to, I, I want to write you into this movie. But you you didn't go into it thinking, well, I'm, I'm going to play the part of Killa. And, and but yet when when word got back to you, was it an easy decision? Of course, it was easy. The director said, do you want to be in John Wick 4? What am I going to say? No, you're all right, mate. But he wasn't sure if I was going to be happy um, with the part because obviously it's, you know, something completely different and, and something I wasn't, I wasn't expecting. But I actually relished the challenge to, you know, create a, a compelling character. How many of your fans are, are going to, at the, at the end of John Wick 4, are going to go, oh, my God, that was, that was Scott. You're kidding me. He, he played killer. They're, they're going to be shocked that it was you. I think if you're a fan of me, you'll, you'll figure out that it's me in the suit. It's not like I look, I mean, I look different, but yeah. you can, you can tell it's me if, if you know I'm in the film, I think. But then what Chad initially hoped was that, and we're doing press about this, so I'm probably giving the game away, but he, you would get this character that you wouldn't expect is going to turn around and, and give John Wick a run for his money. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm giving it away now. I'm going to blame you, Ara. <laughs> Dude, the critics are already talking about this movie. I talked with one last night that was talking about Biden you. in the trailer, so it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so when, when you're a part of a major storyline like this, what's next for Scott Adkins? Because, I mean, it's like, I want more of your drama. I want more of, you know, because and now I know you're, you're a serious actor. Well, yeah, and that I've been trying to tell these Hollywood producers that for a, while, for a while now. But this is why I'm so thankful to Chad Stahelski, the director of John Wick, for giving me the opportunity and the trust to let me do something like this. I mean, I've known I can do it for a while, 
Um, you just need people to give you that opportunity. And there's a stigma that goes with the martial arts films mm-hmm. and, and all the rest of it. But Chad, he comes from that world. And um, I'm sure he encountered some stigma when he moved into directing. They probably thought of him as just the stunt man, the stunt guy. Um, we all need an opportunity to shine. And I, I believe I have it in this film. And hopefully I can continue to do so in others. Did you get to help out with any of the martial arts scenes by going, OK, I, I, I see what you're trying to do. Let's let's make it a little bit more real. Let's try this. Because John Wick, like you said, he's he's really he's there to kick butt. No, we're dealing with a director that is an incredible martial artist himself. Yeah. We're dealing with the, stunt, the, the best fight stunt team in Hollywood, 8711. Um, I'm not going to tell them how to do their job. They're, they're amazing at what they do. I, I'm honored to be there. Of course, I have my own ideas and my own slant on things. And what surprised me is that we didn't actually choreograph um, my fight sequence until we arrived on set. And Keanu is that well-trained as a martial artist now that you know, you can show us something on the spot and we're both able to just do it there and then. And that, that's a testament to the stunt team and Keanu's training. Your nice, calm voice. You know, there's a lot of us out here that want you to say James, James Bond. You need to have that role. Uh, the suit is wet, but the martini is still dry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't comment on that, can I? I can't comment. <laughs> Keanu Reeves has always been known for his peace. You and I have talked about that in, in years past, about how peaceful you are as well. It, it had, had to be a learning tool in some way for you as, as a peace walker to be able to, to be in, in a room with that kind of energy. I love Keanu. Such a great guy. Such a humble, nice human being, gentleman. Um, Pleasure. Pleasure to work with him. Pleasure to get time in between takes to just sit and, and chat with him about his career. He's a real student of cinema yeah. and, and film. You know, he's directed movies on, he's directed documentaries on filmmaking. He's directed himself. Um, yeah, just sitting and talking cinema with him was fantastic. Wow. Scott, you got to come back to the show anytime in the future. You know the door is always going to be open for you, dude. Thanks, Arrow. I appreciate it, mate. You be brilliant today, okay? You too, mate. Well done.